Hello, welcome. My name is Jared Coles. I'm a pipe maker. You can see all that kind of stuff at jaredcolespipes.com. Today I want to talk to you about how to smoke a pipe. So today I want to give you five things that I have distilled down from my 12 years of pipe smoking and pipe making and I think they're going to be very helpful for you. So please uh, watch this video and then if you need to watch it again or and again until you kind of really get the, the basics of pipe smoking. Uh, before we get started, I want to remind you about why you might want to be smoking a pipe, and it's this reason. This thing is designed to addict you. Almost everything in here is designed to put thoughts of other people inside your brain. Um, and thoughts are actual physical mechanisms. There's a, some sort of chemical reaction that happens in your brain when you form a thought. And uh, they have scientists whose job it is to figure out how to manipulate that for the most profit for those companies. Now pipe smoking is a way, at least for me, that I find is is a good ritual for me to have that gets me away from that and I can shift my mindset to something uh, more positive, more original, because I don't have to put up with other people's thoughts being just fed to me. And uh, I think you people out there in internet land are pretty sweet, wonderful people and they have a lot of great ideas that would start developing if you just got away from your phones for a minute and stopped just, you know, stopped running on that hamster wheel of the internet for a few minutes. So there's, I think you're going to find that some of your best ideas in life are going to come to you in moments of either pipe smoking or that have pipe smoking like qualities because you're going to be somewhere where your brain can roam around a little bit and have some freedom to think an original thought. Uh, I'm guessing that Albert Einstein wasn't on his news feed all day, you know. Otherwise, he wouldn't have come up with so many great ideas. And there's so many. Uh, if you go to my website, and there's a PDF, a free PDF that I will email you, and in at the bottom there is a list of famous pipe smokers, just for fun. And I think you'll find that, if you think about it, none of those people probably were on their phones 24-7. And in order to change the world, and you can, there are so many great ideas that are just festering in your brain, waiting to come out if you only gave it space. And the world needs that. But the, those, those great men and women, uh, pipe smoking was a way for them to give their brain space where they can process ideas and bring them out into the world. So that's what I want for you because the world needs more people who are able to do that. So, five things that are going to help you smoke a pipe like a boss. Number one, buy good tobacco. So you don't need to start with cherry tobacco. If you want to buy cherry tobacco, take the little bag of cherry tobacco, tuck it into your car visor, and let it be your potpourri for the car. That's what it's good for. It's not great for smoking. Um, there are aromatic tobaccos, um, flavored tobaccos, that are good. They are generally very mild, and they won't come in fruit flavors. And you should start with something that smells and tastes like tobacco. So something that a grown-up would smoke. Uh, it's, it's more like whiskey tasting or wine tasting or something like that than it is a lollipop. Okay? So, just buy something that uh, your tobacconist recommends or that seems kind of earthy and has a, has a nice smell to you, but not necessarily something that has a candy-like smell, okay? All right. So, you have good tobacco, number one. Number two, you need to put, and you have a pipe already because that was the last video we talked about how to get it the right pipe for you. So, this is the pipe that I'm going to use. We're going to pack this pipe. So I have some tobacco here, and I'm going to tell you the best way to smoke your pipe, or pack your pipe. So, just gently put in some, very gently, just drop it in the bowl until the bowl is full. So, you see that? Right to the top. Okay. Then, the first pack, you're going to 
test the airflow, it should be super easy, almost as if you hadn't put any tobacco in. I like to use my fingers for this, so I can get a sense of the pressure and what's happening inside the pipe. You're going to press down, and make sure you kind of use a few presses so you get a nice even surface. You don't want to press down only in one spot. You press down like you're shaking the hand of a very young child. Very nice to meet you. Just super gentle. This is going to compress that tobacco that you just dropped in to about halfway up the bowl. Okay, so test your airflow again. So super easy draw still. Next, you are going to fill it up to the brim again without any pressure. You're, you're going to do it to where there's no See that? You have you just drop it in. You're not actually pressing down yet. Okay, now for the second pack, you are going to press down like you're meeting your mother-in-law. Respectful, gentle, but like an adult. Test the airflow once more. Still good. Hmm, perfect. Next, you're going to fill it up to the top without packing it, just drop it in. Okay, Once more, right up to the top. See that? Overflowing even just a little bit. This is the last pack, okay? So there are three. So like a baby, like your mother-in-law, and now this one like your father-in-law. So he needs to know that you respect yourself, and that's going to be reflected in your handshake. So that's the kind of pressure you want to use. Still gentle, not, not aggressive, but with some self-respect involved. Now test your airflow once again. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so now my tobacco is almost up to the brim. I've done the three-pack method. And the three-pack method is just the best way that I've found and most people find for creating the proper airflow through the pipe. It's just the best way. Okay, so now my pipe is ready to smoke. So my pipe is full. It's clean. I cleaned it before I smoked, which you will find out more about in the next video. So now we're going to light. So this is also a three-part process. This will get a lot faster. Well, actually, it shouldn't get too much faster. Just take your time. That's part of the the magic of pipes is that you should be taking your time with this. Just don't rush through this. This is part of the ritual. Okay, so we're going to light. And we're going to light three times probably. Take your match. Always use matches if you can help it. Never torches. Oh, it went out. It's okay. Okay, so your first light may not go super well. That's okay. That does that happens to everybody. So what, what's going to happen now, this is the first light, and you've burned the very top layer of tobacco that was really loose and uneven. So now what you're going to do, this is a tamper. Just take your tamper, and um, with gentle, gentle prodding, you're going to create a really even surface on the top of your on the top of your tobacco here just a real even surface okay and an even surface lights easier and because you've sort of packed it down really on the top layer the very thin layer it's really dense it's going to light easier and stay lit easier okay second match second light Go back and forth, use circles. Try and get the whole surface of the, the tobacco lit. Okay? So, as it burns, tobacco usually expands a bit. And so, you want to tamp again. You can use a nail, a bolt. You can use your finger, although that doesn't usually work out so well at the beginning. Okay, so this pipe is going really well now, and I only did two lights. 
For the purposes of illustration, I'm going to light a third time because you're often going to have to do that, especially when you're beginning to learn how to smoke a pipe. So, you've lit twice already, so take your tamper or some flat thing that has a flat end and tamp once more. Okay, this third light is especially important if you're smoking a flake or some other kind of rough cut tobacco or more unevenly cut tobacco. This, this third light is going to be more important. Oh, so good. All right, now the pipe is lit really nicely. You packed it nicely, it's lit nicely. Now you get to smoke it. So, periodically, you're going to want to tamp during your smoke, and we're going to cover tamping in more detail in a later video. So I won't go into too much of that now, but tamping is mainly for airflow management and a few other things. The main thing that you're going to want to do while you smoke is remember that you're smoking. Just pay attention. What the tobacco's doing, how your pipe is doing, roll the flavors in your mouth, mmm, I taste wine and oaks. Fresh cut grass. Mm, maybe raisins? Mm. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. Let yourself kind of get lost in the in the smoking experience. Pay attention. Um, you're going to want to be mindful of the rhythm with which you puff and breathe and all of that. And we'll get into that a little bit more later. Uh, that's kind of a more advanced thing. So, But at the beginning, when you're first learning to smoke, just don't get distracted. Remember that you're smoking. Kind of concentrate on it. Enjoy it. It's a sensory experience, so use your senses, your smell, your sight. Look at the pipe. That's what's nice about having a nice pipe, is they're nice to look at while you smoke. Um, taste the tobaccos. And you can, you know, it's a, it's a very tactile experience as well, because you're holding the pipe, you're packing the pipe, you're lighting it using all of your senses to do this. And another thing is, I forgot one sense, the ears. Um, the airflow through the pipe is going to create a very slight sound. So, uh, once you learn your particular pipe's sounds, and you can kind of start managing the airflow with your tamping based on sounds. And you're also going to hear gurgles if you have a very wet tobacco, which is one of the reasons I don't recommend that cherry stuff when you first start out, because it's very wet, and it will create gurgles, and you may, you may get like uh, tobacco moisture in your mouth, and that will not be enjoyable, and you won't want to smoke anymore. So that's why I recommend a nice tobacco, high quality, and in a corn cob, because you won't get gurgles in a corn cob. So... If you do get gurgles, have some pipe cleaners on hand to put down the pipe while you're smoking it and take care of that. Okay, so remember, number one, buy good tobacco. Number two, we talked about how to pack, the three-pack method, like you're shaking the hand of a baby, like you're shaking the hand of your mother-in-law, and like you're shaking the hand of your father-in-law. Okay, number three, Learn how to light. So we did a three light method, and that should pretty much unfailingly do it for you. So light, tamp, light, tamp, light, tamp. Use matches. Okay, number four, smoking. Now you're getting to smoke, and it should be a really pleasurable experience because of the, the other things we've already talked about. The lighting, the tamping, the buying the good tobacco. 
Okay, and now we come to number five, which is one of the more important steps. And it happens before you do any of this. So I left it for last because I want to make it the most dramatic. Turn off your phone. Just do it. You won't regret it. It's going to be good for you. It's good for your brain. The world needs the things that are percolating in your brain, and there's no way they're going to get out unless you stop shoving stuff in there. <clears throat> whatever you're thinking about and whatever you focus on is going to start becoming your life and becoming who you are. And if you're focusing on social media, news, and all that, all the rest of it, it's going to start affecting you. And you need a place where you get to undo some of that and start becoming the person that you were meant to be. And if you don't have space to do that, and at least to start having ideas and thoughts, it's like, a sh like when you're in the shower and things just kind of come to you, smoking a pipe cor correctly creates that space for you. So, buy good tobacco. Pack your pipe properly. Light your pipe properly. What was the fourth one? Smoke! It's good. It's tasty. Experience it. Enjoy it. And it, just engage with it. Number five, turn off your phone. Do it. Listen to me. All right. Thank you, guys. I hope this video was really helpful. I think you're going to find that if you follow these steps, you will have a good time. And I think you're going to find that if you follow, especially the fifth step, your brain is going to start performing differently. It's going to be hard at first. You're going to have withdrawals from your phone, perhaps, but you're going to th you're going to thank this process. So enjoy yourselves. Have some smokes. Let me know what you think. If this is working for you, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And uh, we'll talk soon. Thank you. Happy smoking. Happy